Hey. hey, what's up, pop stars? This is Pop Gibberish. I'm Joe. I'm Shay. And today we're watching the final episode of season one of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Uh, Percy, Grover, and Annabeth just came back from the underworld. Um, Percy just found the Master Bolt in his bag that Ares gave him, so they now kind of know a little bit more about what is going on. They realized that they were wrong in their assumptions about Hades wanting the Master Bolt, which kind of became right because once Master once he found out that he, that he had that they had the Master Bolt, then he wanted it because he found out that Kronos was was, was uh, kind of doing some things. So uh, as of right now, I guess they are about to fight Harry, uh, Harry, <laughs> like Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. They're about to fight Ares. Um, uh, on Santa Monica Beach. So Aries just showed up and we don't know what's about to happen. So uh, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get notification every single time we drop a video. To our pa patrons, you're gonna get this early as well as the watch along. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the episode. Okay. Cool. Look. You didn't ask to be a half blood. <laughs> Handle this on your own. <laughs> Thanks for demonstrating that. Let's work on that disarm. Look, I appreciate you taking the time. But you're weak and want to quit? <laughs> Every tried to claw me, the minute I tried to skewer me. Uh, and I don't think a disarm or a high guard or uh, three folks would do anything. Uh, uh, Ouch. Like single combat. I don't I don't think he was fighting. I don't feel like he was coming to It was Kronos. It was his idea to frame Poseidon's kid and steal Hades helm and Zeus's bolt to start a war. Hmm. What? Right. Where he got to you too. Wow. She oh I forgot she wasn't there when they right. came up with that. Gods. Why do Grover have the bag? The god of war. How to start a fight. Mm-mm. So he was just manipulated then. Yeah. How do your mommy for me? His dad? Where's his dad at? I was going to say, there's no way that he even barely wins this fight. <laughs> well, his dad is supposed to be there, right? Well, I think By he meant side? like more. Like be there in spirit, helping him with power, magic, that kind of thing. Ow. Ooh. There you go. Get in a little bit of water. Here we go. Uh oh. Changed his face pretty fast. Down. Who are you? Hmm. That's scary. Mm. Oh. Where's your sword? Nope. Oh. I thought he already. <laughs> First blood. Hmm. <laughs> and they did the golden ichor, which is what gods have instead of blood. Mm-hmm. Or Iker. You okay? You hurt? And you thought you were just a kid. <laughs> Yay! That was so cool. Oh, you're such a hater. Really won today? An enemy for life. Congrats. Yeah, you're not the first, I'm sure. Oh. What? Hmm. 
Wait, what did he... Oh, is that the hill? Yeah. It's Hades' home. That was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Too fast. Yeah, I thought they were going to have to go on a whole quest, but I mean, this is the last episode. They can't, can't go on a whole quest for it. We have to get back to the underworld. That looks heavy. Oh, is that his what? mom? I think it's a trap. But they are not stopping him from going there. Oh. Lord Poseidon grows bold in his war against his king. I like that fireplace. Edie sent you to retrieve it. That's been your quest all along. <clears throat> I wouldn't trust her. I would just take it to her myself. Right. Because what's to stop Ares from taking it back from her? Living up to my end of the bargain. Tell Hades I expect him to do the same. I wouldn't. Don't trust them. Please. They don't care. Okay. What does that mean, good luck on? Right. Dude. No. I... Yeah, he's got to take the master bolt directly to him. Just for clarity, how sure are we you can just explain everything in an email? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That looked like Hades, too. What did you say? That looked like Hades as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they made New York look like the underworld. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of washed out, all the colors and everything. Great. Yeah. I'm here to see Zeus. Do he even... Mm. It's a nice pattern on the door. I dig that. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. How do you know where he is? That's... Just pull out the master bolt. You have to be really careful with this. What do you mean? Annabeth is terrified of spiders. Okay. Join the club. Then they are. So what do you think happens when she comes across one? Two things you never want to be are small and scary at the same time. <laughs> that is that is a bad combination. Get squished. That was a really good analogy <laughs> for for what demigods are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we know where he, he is. He's at the top. Wherever. That's huge, though. Yeah. I would take hours to get there. <laughs> yep. Hmm? Is that what I think it is? Was that the guy that... No. I'm tripping. That's not the guy from at the desk, is it? No. That's. Hmm. How? Isn't that Th something? Yeah, that's Lance Riddick. 
he passed away. Oh, yeah, this he did. This must have been the last thing that he was in. Hmm. Wow. I didn't steal it. Neither did any of my friends. I think he knows that. We got him back. We tried to get it to you on time. You failed. He failed. He's emerging from Tartarus, or trying to. He's gathering strength, and he's coming for all of you. You may go. But I know where Kronos is. I put him there. I was about to say, I don't. I have a war to prosecute now. So when I say you may go, it means be grateful, and it means be gone. But the war can't continue. Boy. Oh wow. Pressing your luck there. He turned on you the moment someone stronger showed up. Do you really think he'll be the last? How afraid of you do you think they'll be when your dad shows up looking to put you back in your place? Ooh. He was about to strike him down. That's his dad. Yeah. sense that they would be speaking in Greek or what what language would that be? Family business. Make sure I never see this one again. Oh wow. Okay. Hmm. That must have hurt his pride a bit having to give up like that knowing he could have probably defeated him or something obedience doesn't come naturally to you does it i must take some of mine i suppose got to see your dad <laughs> Your mother taught you ancient Greek. She taught me a lot of things. Okay, I see how it connects now. Who wants to make a point? Do you dream? Ares said God saw dream. <laughs> Ares is a moron. <laughs> <laughs> of course we dream. What do you ask? Do you ever dream about mom? Mm hmm Really? No answer? Oh, wow. There's only one. <laughs> oh. He's at the back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. The back, already back at Camp Half Blood. Wait, what about Annabeth and Grover? Right. They may have already went back. I know that um, time works differently in Olympus also. So it's possible. But they had such a struggle getting to where they were to get back home. It seemed like it would have been another journey in and of itself. Right. Just saved the world. Oh, they are back. Okay. Oh. Cool. 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 No problem. 
I can get with that. Mm-hmm. Is that his mom? Oh, I forgot yeah. about her. So we can talk without any of Clarice's supporters noticing. I'll keep an eye on Clarice while you're gone. Make sure she isn't going anywhere. Great. And we'll meet back here. Where's Grover? That's another thing. I love how they're doing this story right now. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. Clearly the bulls. Mm-hmm. And you shall be betrayed by one who calls you a friend. Uh-oh. Is it grow? You couldn't. Because you knew that Clarice didn't steal the bolt. What? I didn't think you'd give him Grover to wear. I am your friend, Percy. None of this was. Oh, wow. The gods are my enemy. You are an enemy? I'm here to recruit. Recruit? Wow. What? Easy. I don't want to fight. This is what I wanted to show you. Don't trust him. Keep your sword out. Way out of what? Him. What is... Bring the golden age back. Stealing the bolt in the helm was easy. But what comes next? We're gonna need all the help we can get. <laughs> Our parents aren't perfect, but they're trying their best. Oh, this is a statue. I was like, wait. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is that out there? Yeah. You did get better. He's it's like, but not better than me. <laughs> right. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. He's going to kick him into the portal. Last chance. Oh. Uh oh. No, what? don't fall for it. No. Oh. oh. Yeah, who is that? Is that Annabeth? Yes. Okay, good. I was wondering. Figured that would happen. Yep. Coward. None of this is easy. Goodbye. <laughs> he does look weird <laughs> no, on the horse. <laughs> and his master, Cronus, he can be very, very persuasive. Yeah. But I'm very, very stubborn. <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> you have made me very proud. You're still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, thank you, Percy. Like, Percy? Yes. No, I mean, that's your name? Yes. What? You sure? Because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Percy Jackson. I don't think so. <laughs> You know what? I don't actually care. <laughs> okay! For those of you who are not staying for the full turn, get out! <laughs> Pack your bags, you're going home. <laughs> I 
think that's the regret. You going home? Maybe, yeah, possibly. And how do you feel about it? Well, he wants to show me New York City first, so I'm going to pretend I haven't been there. Mm-hmm. It's called Disney World, which kind of sounds like Waterland, but let's determine to kill you. <laughs> Wait, did I read that wrong? What am I walking into? <laughs> We meet back here next year. All of us. Right here. Deal. That sounds promising. Yeah. It's almost like they're saying, okay, we're getting a season two. <laughs> Everybody get ready for a season two. <laughs> yeah. We're coming back next year. <laughs> right, right. Something seems off. Mom? Seemed like that would have been what he would have said. Who's there? Oh, wow. He's not dreamy. Oh. Okay. First book, first season, second book, second season, I assume. What a good one. It's time to wake up. Oh no, what? No. What the? Close the door. Ew. Get out of my dreams already. Oh, oh. soon enough we'll meet in your world. If you can serve. I knew it was too good to be true. Right. I was hoping that it was done. I mean, I was, I thought it was done. Is my hope your survival is the key to my return? Ew. That voice sounds familiar. I'm trying to figure out what actor that is. No kidding, kiddo. Time to wake up. Okay. <laughs> what? Because I was about to say they, their home wasn't even. Let's get this party Wait a minute. Okay. Did he dream this this whole time? Well, he dreamed. I hoped if I slept he dreamed the meeting, but he that already happened. You have another night. They skipped past that. Grandpa. Uh, don't call him that. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Uh, that is not what he said. Kronos. Right. The Titan said that. I mean, he could have. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her it's true so you can get all the information. And that's how you suss all this information out. <laughs> Figure it all out. Right. Because we might need you for the fight ahead. That was nice of them to um, do the tribute to Lance. Yeah. Uh, Riddick. Yeah. I, I I think I heard rumors that he was going to be in this series, but I forgot that he was going to be in the series, especially since mm -hmm. we didn't see him, see him until the last episode. Right. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah. That was sad. Yeah. So now I'm trying to figure out, so if they do get season two, they're going to have to recast his, his um, part. Um, so that's that would be interesting to see how they handle that. 
Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, this was a good good season of television. Yeah, it was. I dug it. I dug it. Uh, I like it so much better than the previous iterations of this outside of the books. I uh, obviously, um, I like how they wrapped up the story. Um, I like how they left it open mm-hmm. for for the next book or mm-hmm. the next uh, season to jump in there mm-hmm. and uh, talk about it. Hopefully, they they do that do it in order of you know the books, so it kind of has some chronological. Um, uh, relevance or whatever the case is uh, all the characters seem pretty fleshed out and really nice um, yeah and they got some closure I think this this uh, season so technically if they didn't get a ne- another season there's closure enough in this season to where you feel kind of satisfied for you know the situation yeah so but yeah, uh, yeah that's what, what do you think um I I definitely the um it exceeded my expectations, which I didn't really come into it with any. Um, but seeing how everything played out, um, it piqued my interest to to um, look forward to the next season mm-hmm. and to maybe delve into the books. Um, and it was great casting, and um, it was it was just an overall good storyline. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I've always been in, interested in like Greek and Roman mythology, Norse mythology, uh, even some in Egyptian mythology. I think mythology in general tends to be uh, kind of my my jam. And um, as soon as Rick Riordan started, like when he wrote the books, and then he did like the Cain Chronicle, Chronicles and the, the Tales of Asgard and all that kind of stuff. Like when he did all of those, I just got super excited and I jumped headfirst into those stories. Uh, because it was such a, a unique take on like these classic mythological stories um, that you know it made it more interesting and it almost kind of I mean obviously he's it's almost like he took like a regular Greek myth and then said okay this is what kids nowadays want to see <laughs> you know like that mm-hmm. um, so basically that's kind of all really what he just modernized all of it um, and uh, I do dig that uh, even in my own writing I've I've kind of emulated that a little bit. Um, and kind of brought that to heart but uh, so you know one day when I you know publish a story or whatever the case is I can have that similar vibe or feel you know as that and like uh, you know other people like Jim Butcher for the Dresden Files they kind of do the same similar thing where they take uh, these ancient uh, creatures and ancient uh, deities and gods and things like that and kind of bring them into the modern day mm-hmm. and, uh, like how th- how would they be how would they look in today's time you know with today's technology and things like that so it's really cool it's a really cool idea uh and funny enough um fortnite just recently um did an update where they did myths and monsters as well Mm. and they did a whole greek update where they kind of modernized zeus and hades and all that uh so yeah uh, we play that and that was pretty that's pretty fun uh, with those characters and Cerberus and all that kind of cool stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think uh, I think it's a good time for it. It's a good time for it. Uh, at the time of you watching this video, it may be well past when that update actually happens. <laughs> so that's the kind of dating this video. But uh, if you're watching this video far, far in the future, then yeah, there was an update. There was used to be a game called Fortnite. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably still going on by the time you're watching this. Uh, yeah, they did a, a Myths and uh, Monsters update, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to to get a season two. I haven't heard any rumblings about a season two yet. I believe they have been um, approved for a season two, but mm-hmm. I I don't know any definite information. I know Disney has been kind of iffy these days when it comes to their budgeting and their uh, scheduling of things. They especially with the MCU, they've kind of like pulled a lot of things back and canceled a lot of things because mm-hmm. of the you know the market is a little bit different nowadays. Mm-hmm. But um, I think this might be far enough removed from that that they are still uh, greenlit for that you know for another season of this. So okay. I'm really excited for that. Okay. Uh, and, and hopefully this opens up uh, Rick Riordan to the idea of possibly bringing live action bringing uh his other books to live action oh you know because they all exist in the same universe okay uh so while this was going on with percy jackson um carter kane and his sister and i can't remember her name and i feel bad let me know down in the comments what her name is uh but him and his sister were actually fighting um egyptian gods literally at the same time because the way rick riordan basically wrote it 
each one of these different uh, uh, pantheons of, of deities and gods, when there's like an apocalyptic event, it literally happens in each one all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, oh, this week is the Greek uh, apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Next week is the Roman uh, apocalypse. You know, mm -hmm. they basically all coincide. And it's like, they're all like aspects of like the universe basically saying something bad is happening. Yeah. You need to fix it. That kind of right, thing. Right, right. So, uh, so it kind of brings the stakes a little bit different. So if Percy mm -hmm. finishes his thing and destroys Kronos or does whatever he does, mm -hmm. you know, then at the same time, Carter Kane and his sister is also defeating, um, I want to say Set or somebody. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, Magnus Chase is defeating, you know, <laughs> uh, Ragnarok, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing all at the same time. I thought that was a really cool uh, way to tie everything together. So I'm really excited for more of that. Uh, if you haven't read the books, definitely read the books. Rick Riordan is the author. Uh, these are the Percy Jackson books. Um, there are many other series that he's done and you can look him up, look his, uh, his author name up on uh, Audible or, you know, wherever you get your books from and uh, definitely support that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and call this one. This season is done until next season. So if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get notification every single time we drop a video. To our patrons, you're going to get this early. Uh, and uh, you're going to get to watch along as well. But yeah, we're, that's it for us. You got anything? No. Cool. Peace out.